Hey guys, right, so um, we're in Prestatin. I thought I'd do an update um, on food, drink, new buildings, whatnot. So if you haven't been since November, we have the new home bargains. We're at the main train station, as I'm assuming some people will be coming in um, via train. So we're gonna take our right, and head to the local eatery just off the train station, actually a car, parked car there as well. Manchester bound, Manchester bound, you'll be on this line. If you're coming in um, from the area, you'll be on the opposite line. I'm going to take a walk down this side as um, I don't think I've actually vlogged this side before and there are a few eateries and um, some really good ones as, as it goes. At the bottom there is a car park, um, it's a paid for car park but you can pay, I think it was like 20 pence for half an hour, we'll have a look at their charges um, and any other thing that's interesting along the way. Station, we have the Victor Royal Victoria that's recently been renovated, we've not been in there since. This is the car park I mentioned. We've got Panchi across the road. Now their hygiene rating has gone down. They were meant to be really, really good. Um, I think they're a three or a four now, and I struggle going places to eat when there are five, so. I won't be touching there for a bit. Needing to say, it might even be on bookkeeping, but I don't know, never like to trust. Oh, there we go, 30p for 30 minutes, an hour for a pound, three hours for two pound, and all day for seven pound. They also do pay by phone, so that's not too bad. Park area, nice garden area. Right, it's okay, so there's Panchi. We'll go this way around first and we will come to the local chip shop. They've actually got two. They've got one here and um, one on the high street. And they're highly regarded in Prestatin as being one of the best chip shops in the area. So that's Carl's Fish and Chip Shop. Well, back again, back to the main road, and I'll join you a bit further down. The punch now, yeah, hygiene rating three. Like I say, it's had good reviews, but I wouldn't be able to eat there, not currently, anyway. And again, like I said, it, it doesn't even necessarily be hygiene. It can be down to um, not keeping the, temp the records of the temperatures of the fridge often enough and things like that. So it's unfortunate. I actually didn't know that was there. So let's see, do they do anything vegan? So this must be relatively new or I just do not see things. Have a look. Don't know how well that's showing up. No, not that I can see, but definitely worth a visit by the looks of things. Right. Okay. Pizza pan. If it's back open, I would avoid like the plague. It's been shut down um, <laughs> numerous of times for really bad hygiene practice. So, and yet, do you know, the people that have eaten there always comment on how nice the food is. Germs must taste good. Not a fan. Now, the Suwail, on the other hand, is an Indian restaurant. And uh, this is definitely one of the best in the area. I haven't been for a few years, but when we have been, inside's absolutely gorgeous. The food is absolutely gorgeous. And that's on Marine Road. Bastion Road in Prestatin. It's 
see they've got a holiday park down there. We've also got fish and chip shop. Recreational ground. Now this is where um, they have the travelling fair when that comes into town. I haven't tried the chips there so I couldn't give you an honest review but maybe that should be in a pipeline. In the background there you can see the football club, cricket club and um, Pontins. This is the back of Pontins. Again, we'll have to do um, a walk around there at some point in the future. Thirty years running, apparently that far. I like what they've done with next door. That looks lovely. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Up ahead, you can see um, the amusements. Now, these are the only amusements in Prestatin. Um, there's a lot more, obviously, in Rill. But you don't have to always travel, so this is on the doorstep. Um, and you have a large um, children's park at the behind there as well. The amusement park has a small cafe, coffees, ice creams, um, Nothing too fancy, but it's there, you know, for taking away. Might have a look in there, actually. Then we've got Crazy Golf. On the left. Have a proper look at that on the way back, maybe when it's not so busy. I'm always a bit dubious about filming where there's like small kids, which is everywhere at the minute, so. <laughs> what you probably can't see due to the railings is it is £4 an adult, £3 a child. Don't think that's anything too excessive. Oh, something else we can see. A camper van, I love a camper van. The children's park um, is really popular with older kids as well, to be honest. That also has a cafe by the looks of it. Ice cream parlour. are on patrol. What is it? So 
when we did the promenade walk on the live, we were a fair bit further down. Well, actually, it's not that far down, but this was the area before it. And another bar, that's like three open bars. And I'm trying to be good. As um, we are staying down tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure we can make up for the lack of drink today, but that was meant to be the idea. Meant to be really well behaved beforehand. And there's a lot of bars that seem to want to attract us in. Safety information. Safety swim and use inflatables. There's a lifeguard on station. That's always good to know. Might be why the car park's so full. Right, we're not going to walk much further up here, otherwise we're going to join on from where the last video took. The direction is further down. Um, you can see Pontins, well, the front of Pontins and the side of Pontins, um, and there is also the Beaches Hotel. Go to show what you've got on your own doorstep and never know. We're um, getting nothing but wind. Certainly a lively area. Uh, anything vegan on there? Yes, there is. Right, so we're heading our way back to the train station and I'm hoping, I've just made an alteration on the mic um, so it's coming from the rear, which I, I like it from the front because you've got all the sights, you know, the sounds to go with the sights but I think currently with the, um, the strong breeze we're getting we're going to get an awful lot of muffling and interference so we'll use this vlog um, as a bit of a mic test as well. We're still working things out. The channel's only, quite, you know, it's only new. I mean, we've had the channel for a long time, but we've only actually been putting content on it, to say the past, I think actually we're coming up to a year. So everything's a learning curve. And if anyone's got any advice, by all means, pop it on in the comments. We're open to suggestions and feedback, whether it's good or bad, it all helps. Well, I'm sure people could say something quite horrible that isn't needed, but never mind. So far, so good. Everyone's been lovely. Okay, so we're heading back to the train station. This was the Victoria pub. This is, um, it's got apartments, so that's the side entrance. the road. Oh. Right, okay, that looks like it's shut. So that used to be a tea room. A teddy bear tea room. It looks like the teddy bears are still there, but I don't think they're serving tea. Which is a bit of a shame. Because I think 
if I can remember correctly, it was charity based, as in the staff and whatnot. All right, okay, so we're back on the train railway bridge. Rail, rail. We're back on the railway bridge. Home bargains off yonder. They have a garden centre. It's quite big in there. Then we have the cookhouse carvery to your right. Serving an all-you-can-eat breakfast at eight ninety-five. Concessions at seven ninety-five. Unlimited hot drinks at £2.50. We have actually had breakfast there and it was very good, other than um, I asked them to point me to the vegan selection, of which they had, and the sausage they served. I can't confirm it, but it tasted like it had cheese in it. So I think it was a vegetarian, not a vegan. Anyway, I didn't eat it, so. It was unfortunate, but some people still to this day don't. And this wasn't a chef, this was the staff. Um, to this day, don't know what vegan is, so. Sweet shop. Okay, the bus. That's a hygiene rating of three. Oh. Crispy card, hygiene, hygiene rating of five. This is better. This, I'd love to know what it takes to get a hygiene rating of anything under a five, and then you at least know what you're looking at, but they don't actually advertise that, it's just the rating. So you've got the William Morgan. Oh no, it's shut. Let's see if it's light enough to see the menu. I was planning on getting a smoothie. I think it was that one. Actually, it wasn't. She made it up because she said it had spinach in it and it was lovely. It's a shame that's closed. Because that is something I would have definitely headed for. Right, I'll just take you up here because this is new. We're going to give this a go. We've had a go of it in Manchester. And I was really sceptical, but it was uh, brilliant. Is it open? It doesn't look open yet. Unless it's a booking, because a lot of them, well, the one in Manchester you had to book in. So 8.45 till 6.00. It's, um, they're called, like, floats. Yeah, flotation centre. Oh, and they've got an ice bath as well. And an infrared sauna. Right, they've actually got more than I thought. But the floats themselves, and a Thai massage, which I didn't know was there. The floats themselves, um, they're like a pod that the water, it's not hot, it's like... It's re a really comfortable heat, but it's not hot. And it sounds daft. It sounds, I, I thought it was going to be boring because I'm not one for sitting still. Um, and basically, you get in this pod um, and you lie back. And there's that much of this certain salt. Cinema and dominoes. There's that much of this certain salt that you float. And it's really good for your skin. And it smells lovely. Um, so yeah, the, it's Ginger's is shut down. Ginger's Grill, the Tolero Lounge, um, which is quite a few of them popping up all over the place. And I really enjoy their food. Um, but yeah, that flotation centre, the actual float itself, it, I think it was probably one of the only times that we all came out because it was me, um, the Spud. And Mike, we all went for it. My brother paid for it for Christmas. Haven't been in here yet. This is relatively new. I think it was last year, the year before it opened. Um, anyway, might as well take a look at the menu. And they have got... Oh, they've got quite a few vegan. All coronation chip pea baguette with the prices. 
I'm assuming it's Tumundo. Um, time out the sandwich bar. Subway is obviously Subway. Um, yeah, sorry. You basically you you float for I think we had an hour, and we all came out. Um, admittedly, we didn't use it the way they probably would suggest. I think um, Spud was playing ring toss. You had this um, like a ring pillow to rest your head on if you if you chose to, because you float anyway. But it was just for some people are a bit funny about having head in the water, and. Um, they do vegan cheese as well as regular cheese and they deliver and they do cheese nights haven't been in there um, for some time but their baguettes used to be lovely Patagonia has got a really good um, oh there we go it's got a really good oh so I've got the other prices as then um, doesn't take much to sway my head. Patagonia's got really good press. I'm sure there's another word for it, but I can't think at the minute. Um, I'm still on the flotation thing. Now these, this used to be a cafe and it sold and it's been ch it's changed hands. As you can see, the coffees aren't too badly priced. They do do vegan um, milk you know, uh, plant-based milk. And I have had from here and the staff are lovely. Um, but they've conjoined businesses because they were higher up the high street and they used to sell, um, like you took your own tub and bought pasta to fill it and things like that, you know, very eco-friendly. Um, but unfortunately the high street, the higher up you get, certain people just don't walk it. So um, they were losing business. Right, I'm sure I was on about something or other. Chinese sitting. Five. Oh. Oh, lots of five star ratings for a number of years, so. And they get really good reviews. That was the word, reviews. That's what I was looking for before. Right, okay. <laughs> Back to the flotation. So Spud, I shouldn't walk while I talk, I think that's what ruins it. Spud was using his um, head ring thing as a uh, ring toss and was throwing it on his toes. Um, Mike was doing pull-ups because there was this like hand handrail in there. He was doing pull-ups in there. And with you floating so much, any slight movement you make in the water, it sort of begin, you begin to rotate which I thought was really fun at first. So I began to rotate and then I realized I didn't know which way was up and which way was down. So I did have a bit of a, did have a, bit of a wobble when I thought, right, now I don't know where the door lifts up to get out. Now you do have um, a button to turn your light back on. So I was going to leave it on and I turned it off. They say it's, it's um, more relaxing if you turn it off. So I turned it off. And on the opposite side is um, like an emergency call. So if anything obviously goes wrong, you know, within yourself and whatnot, you've got something to press. The hideaway is lovely. They used to have in this parking area from COVID, they were allowed to put some decking out. Um, sort of like Archer's Bar, but it came right out onto the pavement. Um, I'll just stand here for a sec, which, which was nice because they didn't have the space in there to hold custom when it was the two metre rule. It sadly got taken away because people were complaining about the parking. Delhi on the hill and a gym bar. Um, yeah, sorry, so I got myself in a bit of a tears because the last thing I wanted to do was press the wrong button. All I wanted to do was switch the light on. And um, if I'd have pressed the wrong button, then obviously someone would have come running in to help me get out. But at this point, you're starkers. And that is not something I want people to see. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was a bit of a panic moment, but it was my own doing for messing about. 
Right, so you've got Archer's Bar, Lola's Bar, which is a nightclub upstairs, and Carl's Fish and Chicken. The same people from Carl's down the high street, I think. Oh, sorry, the one I showed you before, or it used to be. Um, but rather than fish and chips, they're fish and chicken. You've got your free car parked behind here. I'm trying to think what else is new. Nail bar. In fact, that nail bar is new because that is what um, the cafe with the florist on the corner, that was our old plot. Double check the time. All right, we've got 10 minutes before we've got to meet Mike. And we've got to go and get some euros for tomorrow's trip. Um, I'm going to Tesco's for those. You get a better deal online, but I've left it to the last minute as normal. So, I don't know if you can see that. We've got the office dike path marked out. So while I'm wandering up, we might as well tell you. And um, for those who wasn't part of the live, we are doing Italian restaurant. We are not doing Italian restaurant. Just while we're here. Oh, and they do vegan as well. And their prices look really well. I don't know why we haven't eaten here. Hmm, we might have to change that one and give it a go. Um, so tomorrow we are off to Altea. Wherever I was saying before, it's somewhere in Turkey. We're not going there, it's somewhere in Spain. It's called Altea. And we're going away for five nights. Um, so we'll bring you as much as we can from over there. It's our first time in the area. So you can learn with us. Two for six bar, cross foxes. Um, been this way before. Right, so I am recording. I'm going to have to check what I've just recorded because I've, I've literally went to turn it off and it came on on record. So you may end up with double or you may end up with a massive gap in what we were looking at. Um, the cocktail bar, the gin cocktail bar across the road is shut, which is, I've wanted to go in there since it opened and never managed it. I was saying the Young Sing, sorry, is a, a, a one hygiene rating, but it is always busy. Bizarre. Well, I find it bizarre. Um, vegan friendly hairdressers. Vegan friendly tattooist. Sandwich bar. I'm hoping, because I thought I pressed record at the train station, so I might just have to do the whole of the high street again. I'm just hoping I've got enough battery now. Ros's Tandoori House, hygiene rating of four, which surprises me because they've been there a long, long time and they get really a huge amount of business. Um, I remember Spud took me there. Um, I think it was the first year we were together. It was like 21 years ago, and it's been coming a long time before then. Same family that's run it all this time. So we have the Cross Foxes. As I'm getting short of battery, I'm not going to go too far down, but just, just off the Cross Foxes, heading towards the church, there is um, the Harlequin Quest, 